Now, as part of the Business of Baseball presented by Cohen Resnick, we welcome in a former 36th round pick of the Seattle Mariners, MLB <laughs> Senior Vice President of On-Field Operations, Raul Abanez. Uh, Raul, Raul, thank you so much for joining us on the show. Uh, can you tell us why the educational portion of the MLB Draft Combine can be considered an investment in next-gen talent? Absolutely. Well, first and foremost, uh, Greg and Harold, thank you guys for having me on. Uh, and, and the reason it's so important to educate players early on is because we want them to maximize their playing careers. We want to teach them uh, about what it means to be disciplined and diligent, uh, teach them about uh, what it takes to not just get to the major leagues, but actually stay there and be productive and, and have a productive and impactful uh, and the longest career possible th that they can have. Hey, Raul, so important what you're touching on right there. And I know you probably would have aced this part. 36 round. You had to be like, what? <laughs> <laughs> 36, 36 round pick, uh, Harold. What a, what, a, what a blessing. And it was just a crazy time. But yeah, it's crazy. 36 round. So how, how much do you think this would have improved you? Outside of the baseball skills and everything else, but one of your best gifts, most powerful gift, is getting in front of people and being able to share that personality. And that would have taken you, I think, even higher engaging with folks. So how important would that have been? Would that have helped you get out of the 36th round? I think it, it may have helped me get out of the 36th round. Uh, I think just the the ability to interact with, with um, not just people that are in the front office. I mean, there's going to be a general manager panel there uh, teaching them what's important, uh, what they're looking for, how you build a championship caliber team, and what it means to be a championship caliber player. Uh, these things go way above and beyond what, what it, it takes to be on the field. As you well know, Harold, to play at the major league level for a long period of time, you have to take care of your business on the field and, and absolutely have to take care of your business off the field. So the more that we can prepare these young men for the future, for some of the challenges that they're going to encounter and prepare them uh, uh, to maximize against, once, once again, their careers, um, it's not only going to be better for them individually, but it's also going to be better for a big game of baseball. You know, young men, but in some cases, compared to the three of us, they're kids. How do you teach maturity to 18-year-olds who are walking into a business right out of high school? I think just the awareness of it, Greg, it's a great question. Uh, I think just making them aware of what the expectations and the demands on their time, um, how they're going to be pulled in different directions, many different directions. And I think once you're aware and you, you once you're aware, you can prepare and, and be, being prepared for what's coming and what's going to happen in, in the next stage of their life is going to absolutely help them um, in the future. And again, this is about you know, the, the discipline it takes uh, to get to the major league level. And obviously not just get there, but you want to stay there. As Harold knows, it's getting to the major leagues is very difficult, but it's much easier than staying at the major league level. And that's what we want for all of these guys. We want to give them, um, you know, the, the greatest chance of succeeding. And, and Raul, we're, we're talking about, you know, some of the top players in the country, top 200 and above in the country. And, and so to me, I'm looking at also how, these guys will impact the game beyond their playing days. So it sounds like you're talking about this isn't just about getting on the field and throwing the ball hard or hitting. It's about the whole person. That's right, Harold. Thank you for bringing that up. This is about becoming a professional. You know, you're going from the amateur ranks and what it means to be a professional, what it takes to be a, a, a tremendous member of your community, what it takes to make an impact on the people around you. Um, getting to the major league level, again, it's a privilege and an honor to play this great game. It's the greatest game in the history of sports uh, to all of us. But it's a tremendous opportunity for them to be impactful, lead impactful lives, not just on the field, but also off the field. And once again, the more that we can prepare them, educate them uh, for the challenges that lie ahead in their career, the better off they're going to be. And ultimately, the better off our game's going to be. Will social media be brought up and how they deal with it? Yes, yes. There's going to be a portion of, of uh, social media as well. We're going to absolutely uh, help them. You know, we recognize that today there is a, a lot to be said for brand recognition and for helping brand yourself, uh, but there's also a way to do it and a way to do it uh, properly that, that not only honors yourself, but honors your club um, and the game of baseball ultimately. Uh, but, you know, I think the most important component of this whole thing is preparing them to be great citizens off the field and to be professionals on the field. And at the end of the day, if you take care of your business on the field, the branding will take care of itself. He's a senior vice president of on-field operations for MLB, Raul Abanez. Thank you so much for catching up with us. We really appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Great to see you. Thanks. The Business of Baseball is presented by Cone Resnick. Stay ahead of the game.